Okay. Hello everybody, welcome slash welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking a minute to be here today. We are unboxing the, which way is, which way is up? Umoral One Shaker. I just got this in the mail today. This is not my first Umoral One bottle. I do have another that was given to me as a gift last year. So this is a new bottle. The, the shipping time, relatively quick, but I do live in Toronto. Umoral based in Toronto, so this is obviously a local move for them, so I got the uh, the shipping confirmation yesterday and it showed up in the mail today, so let's open the box just to, just, and just to clarify, this is not a review of the Umora one, this is just an unboxing. I might do a review in the, sometime in the future, we will see, but that being said, let's open. I have a box cutter, which would be a lot more satisfying to open this with, but I don't know where it is. This is hard to do, like, in the air. First thing you're gonna see is this little, uh, card here, which I'm assuming is a promo for their line of apparel that they, uh, that they just launched. I guess it's mostly just a showcase of their, uh, yeah, it's mostly the apparel. Pretty cool, you know, the, they got their, their nice, uh, their photography. The photography for the, for the promo that they did for their apparel line, I actually really liked it. It's really cool, sort of urban and modern looking. Um, nothing too edgy. It's not like they're going for edgy with their apparel line anyway, so that's the pamphlet <clears throat> for the uh, for the apparel line. Also get one of these uh, moral uh, stretchy rubber wristbands. I've got one of these already. First one I got actually came with the, the wristband and it also came with uh, a few decals. This does not seem to have the decals. Bubble wrapped. And this is the uh, Immoral one in the Volt Green. There it is. Straight out of the package. Nice, fresh, and clean looking. I've always liked how they have this um, this little, um, the way that they package the, uh, the, the container thing that holds the powders. Looks like it's kind of just floating up in the middle there. Just for reference, here's my, uh, my old Immoral. This is about a year old. It's got, you know, the clarity of the plastic is significantly uh, worn. There's an alphalete decal that's hanging on for dear life. The, uh, this thing. The uh, <laughs> one of the one of the little plastic pieces is actually broken off there. So, a couple of reasons why I got a new Umoro one. First of all, is the uh, well. First of all, it's just old, and you know the 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 resin is the the rubber is starting to kind of. Uh, scrape off a little bit obviously that's broken so I don't, I don't know if it's just me not cleaning it right but there is a little bit of sort of um sort of this little i don't know if you can see it or not this is kind of like a residue that builds up on the little because i mean the way that it works obviously is there's the little well for the uh where you put the the powder would be a protein bcaa's pre-workout what have you and then so there's a little well it's built into the lid and then the uh this little cover seals it and it's a it's a pretty tight seal. Obviously, mine is not as um, good as it used to be because of all the wear, and also it's partially broken. And then when you push this button, it um, this little uh, piece in the middle pops out the the lid for the the well in the lid. So that's how that works. In case you've never seen it before, just yeah. But that little uh, that little piece in the middle. It's a little bit difficult to clean, but uh, and it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a funk to it. But again, it's been a year, a lot of use, probably not proper use, hence new uh, moral. There's a little bit of a measuring, sort of a decal imprinted onto the the plastic here. Uh, I'll be honest, when I when I got my first Umoro, it was only a couple washes before that was completely gone. The dishwasher, and it was just completely gone. You can either mark it yourself to see where. Um, it, it, it only really gives you about a halfway point, 10 ounces, and then a full 20 ounces. But yeah, so that's the that's the Volt Green that I decided to go with this time around. A little bit, uh, a little edgier. Yeah, it's, it's cool looking, and yeah, it's nice and uh, vibrant, nice and clean. The clarity of the plastic the first time you get it is just really, really, really cool. And uh, as you can see, it does wear pr quite significantly because it is just plastic so anytime it rubs up against anything there are scratches that are going to happen it's no different from when you have a phone and you just walk around with it in your pocket 
a brand new phone versus a phone you've had for two, two or some odd years. Uh, it could be the exact same phone. The clarity of the glass on your on the new phone is always going to look nicer because it doesn't it lacks all those scratches and whatnot. So yeah, so let's take off the lid here and pull out. As I showed you before, lid into lid. The lid on the lid looks like uh, they've done a, they've they've made a couple of changes since the last time. Um, First of all, when I when I first got my my very first Immoral, this um, bottle here, the the button was very 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 difficult to push. It was it took a lot of force, and it was not it was not easy to push at all. And, you know, over time it, it loosens up a little bit and it becomes a lot easier to push down. Now it's just a matter of like the way that they have it sealing in now. I mean, the, this piece kind of looks more or less the same. I don't think they made any changes there. The way that it seals into the, the bottle, to me, feels a little bit different. It clicks in seemingly easier with a little bit less of a gap between, but I mean, I can't spot anything that they might have done differently, but the way that it seals it, I don't know if it's just a matter of it being old, but on the new bottle, it almost clicks into place, whereas this, you have to really kind of force it in. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of a taller displacement between the, the lid and the, the cover here on the old one versus the new one. The new one you can see seals in a little bit tighter and also a button or near as difficult as the first time I got my uh, my old Umoro bottle last year. So obviously they've made a couple of changes. The cup, you're gonna have the little little one tab there. Make sure you take that out. It's just a piece of paper with uh, a couple of you know instructions and uh, details about the product. So in terms of packaging, a lot of cool stuff going on about the Umoro. For it, let's just get rid of it. Emore One completely dishwasher safe, uh, just like anything else. Please wash it before you use it. But yeah, I'm excited to have a brand new Emore One bottle. I'm not gonna toss this one. I'm still gonna use it. Other than that, that is the the new 2016 Emore One shaker bottle in the Volt Green. It's it's cool. It's really convenient. Uh, what what I personally like to do is uh, when I'm going to the gym, I'll have my my pre workout in the bottle. Uh, I'll load the well in the lid with the uh, my BCAAs or pump product or whatever I need before or during my workout. Most of the time it's uh, the BCAAs. Down the pre-workout, refill the water, and then just hit the button. The BCAAs drop in, mix it up. No need to bring an extra tub to the gym. It's pretty great. Once again, not a review, not a sponsored video. Just thought you might want to see what it looks like when you take any more one out of the box. So thank you so much for watching, hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel, and maybe we'll unbox some other things, because I do like to spend money, well, I like to get stuff, I don't like to spend money. Anyways, thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody.